All right, do y'all remember like back in uh, what was it, 3.0? I think it was 3.0, and XQC was always getting banned. I found this video, and it's actually I watched like a few minutes of it, but it's actually pretty pretty well done. Uh, this guy, uh, the Score Esports. This video on the Score Esports is pretty. It's pretty good. XQC has been permabanned from the GTA 5 role-playing server NoPixel. His behavior on there has often been criticized, but his streams have brought a ton of new viewers to the server and to GTA 5 role-playing in general. Let's break down from, what exactly led to the ban and what's next for NoPixel. All right, guys, just before we get into this, make sure you are subscribed to the Scory Sports if you haven't done so already. Make sure you that way you'll never miss a story like this or any of our other great videos on this channel. Now, for those of you that don't know, GTA 5 has recently exploded on Twitch, thanks in large part to XQC and one role playing server in particular, No Pixel. The server is full of role players acting out every kind of real world job you can think of, from fast food workers to lawyers tough cops to hardened criminals. It doesn't really matter what you choose to do in this world, but you must stick to the rules and remain in character. Otherwise, the whole role-playing world just kind of breaks down. Now, NoPixel has been quietly doing its thing since 2018, but since XQC started playing on the server, it's a- Do you guys think it was XQC or Summit 1G? I know we've got a lot of, um... Who do you think was the biggest influence? Like the biggest influential, in, influential streamer to come to No Pixel? Was it Summit? XQC? Who do you guys think? exploded in popularity and that popularity has spread to smaller streamers who have benefited from xqc playing on the server you know does xqc do rule breaks yeah is he learning yeah is he a slow learner yeah but at the end of the day you have multiple people that's been role playing for a long time that have built careers on it and you have people whose lives have changed drastically where they can do what they love every day instead of having to go to do another job because of people like him and people like Summit that give exposure to the server. Since joining NoPixel, XQC has never shied away from the criminal life and has had plenty of run-ins with the police, usually as he tries to drive their car off the pier to feed the Kraken. And send it! Unfortunately though, he's also had run-ins with the server's admins. Last month, we covered how XQC got banned for using a glitch to kill police officers while in jail. He was eventually unbanned, and since then, XQC has been playing a lot of No Pixel, pulling back-to-back 100-hour -back weeks and regularly reaching over 100,000 concurrent viewers. This guy did 100 back-to-back -back weeks. Are you serious? How am I supposed to get number one for one fucking week with this psychopath out here? What is he doing? Get a hobby. But April 3rd could prove to have been XQC's last stream on No Pixel, and here's how it all went down. He got 224 months in jail after robbing a car while on parole outside of the police department. Uh, you're looking at uh, 224 months? Wait, how many months? 224. Uh, don't, seriously, don't do this. Uh, uh, please, don't do this. While being led to his cell, XQC told the police officer that he hoped he died, which led to a lot of heated debate within the No Pixel community about whether or not this was out of character. You're a hypocrite, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I hope you fucking die. Thank you, sir. Then when some of his viewers suggested chat hopping to the officer's stream in order to argue his case for him, XQC didn't tell them to do it, but he didn't exactly discourage them either. Chat will hop, um, thank God. Okay, I'd... Encouraging chat hopping is a big no-no, by the way, when streaming on NoPixel. While in prison, XQC reacted to the criticism about the chat hopping that had occurred. People think that hoppers discredit all possible criticism. 
if uh, somebody's being I a like stupid idiot, like and they'll use the Yodi, that's like, kind of hey, tough. Hey, and I Hopper's see, safe. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, they should be hopping. But that doesn't like. make it immune from criticism. They're not invincible because there's hoppers. Before long, he was free and decided to take on a new Joker arc for his character, John Paul, one that truly gave no f**ks about the law. After shooting another officer during a police chase, XQC was angry to find out that the downed officer had told his colleague that it was XQC who shot him, which led to him being arrested again. Yeah, but it was X. Oh, I he's in cuffs. How did you know that? Uh, Wait, how did you know that? Be uh, advised, been... Wait, this guy is metagaming while dead. What the f? What is wrong with him? When you're downed in no pixel, you can essentially roleplay as dead, unconscious, conscious, or anywhere in between. XQC was pissed off because he felt like the cop would not have been able to identify him because he was wearing a helmet, the windscreen was all smashed up, and he'd shot the cop about five or six times in the head. And it's here where following the rules of RPing in no pixel can get a little blurred. By claiming that the cop was metagaming, XQC argued that the cop wasn't role playing fairly and therefore breaking the rules of the server. Soon after that, XQC pulled a gun on Officer Wrangler, played by streamer Penta, and demanded he meet him to return the items taken from him. Okay, listen, just calm that's down. Just deal. tell me what you want for f**k's sake, okay? Three lockpicks, one fell on a thousand bucks. XQC waited in jail once again, watching clips of the officers talking about him, but when he returned to the game, he found the all too familiar ban screen. Although the ban said it would be permanent, a message from the admins also said they would be reaching out to him. So at the moment, we don't know for sure if XQC is banned forever from NoPixel. XQC tweeted out saying that he was sorry for his trashy mood and that he got unreasonably mad. He also asked for people to not spread hate on anyone as what he says isn't always true. In the aftermath, some streamers such as Summit did seem sympathetic towards XQC. I feel like there's a line there. It's like, you can, I can say that, yo, Charles wants to f this cop, but what can I do? I can shoot a cop, he goes down for 15 minutes. What you can do is because your character gets two mad, hours. you can f someone for two hours that was already in for two hours. And I feel like that is no possible way that that's only character there has to be some OOC involved there. Now, XQC isn't the only person who's been hit with a permanent ban on NoPixel. Back in March, streamer Trainwrecks was permanently banned from NoPixel after he was accused of metagaming. Essentially, Trainwrecks was using information that his character wouldn't realistically have access to in order to gain an unfair advantage, which, as you can tell, because he got banned from it, is a big violation of NoPixel's rules. He eventually released a whole twit longer about all of this, in which he really went in on some elements of the NoPixel community. Here's the thing you need to understand. NoPixel is an entire living, breathing world. There are countless complex relationships and storylines that are ever-changing as people play on the server. Now that's what makes it so appealing to watch, but it also makes it quite difficult to sum up in a nutshell. It might seem like NoPixel has a lot of arbitrary rules, but these rules are I'm important for the role-playing to work successfully. So all of XQC's antics and subsequent you all bans tell me down is in the comments indicative how you feel about of this, this tug of war between XQC's unique brand of chaos and this role-playing machine that's trying to deal with it. But at the end of the day, NoPixel has grown because of XQC and brought in new viewers, which is something that Hassan alluded to after XQC got banned. He is a great entry point into roleplay for a lot of people because he does, yeah, popcorn roleplay, exactly. So, does XQC deserve the ban? Well, that's up for you to decide. Some of you may have formed your opinions on XQC or the current situation long before you clicked on this video. Just like last time XQC got banned, we don't have a concrete reason for no pixel about why it happened. No it could be due to the chat hopping incident we talked about earlier, or it could be due to wishing that cop would die if it was deemed that he said it out of character. Either way, if he ever does return to no pixel, you can expect more 20 hour streams, more viewers watching him battle it out with the police and the buzz around him will undoubtedly continue. People watch and talk about XQC no matter how they actually feel about him and nobody understands that, that more that than true. XQC himself. No one can sum it. Hey, that was a pure dog shit. It was really bad. But everybody was watching it though. Because I don't get what people say. Something is dog shit but they all watch it. I'm so confused by it.
It's like watching a car crash, but you can't look away. <laughs> Before long, he was free and decided to take on a new Joker arc for his character, John Paul. John Paul. For his character, John Paul. Character, John. Why am I saying John? Say the fucking word John. Jesus. John Paul. I'm starting to say it like Jean and John at the same XQC. Oh, I, I like this guy. Uh, he's funny. Um, yeah, I mean, what, let me know. What are your all's opinion on that? Because, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't around during the, I remember watching it, but I was laughing because he kept getting so mad because he kept getting in trouble. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty, uh, I don't know. It was funny. Um, good dude though. Good dude. I've watched a lot of his streams. Uh, all right, man. That's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think.